The grapevines are waking up. They're in these pots here in the garden and it's time to get them out. But before I can get them out of the garden, there's a few things I need to do. One is I need to create a trellis, an arbor for them to grow on. The second thing I need to do is get the horse to stay out of the orchard. Many of you will say, I told you so, and I get it, I understand. I should have put the electricity on the fence when I first installed the fence because she somehow is getting on the inside of the orchard and I can't figure out how. Hey Maggie, how'd you get in there? Do you go under the fence or over it? This is twice now that we found Maggie inside the orchard with no apparent way that she got in. I don't know if she's stepping over these wires or somehow going under them, but she's in the wrong place. I wish I knew how she was getting in the orchard. It looks like she just goes through the wire without touching the wire, like she's a ghost horse or something. The great barber is going to be built out of these cattle panels, just like I have the trellises in the garden. But I wanted to show you how I put them in the truck because putting a 16 foot panel in a 6 foot bed was a little bit challenging. Notice how the cattle panels are folded over. That looks pretty easy to do until you actually go to do it into a truck bed. I'm gonna undo this and then I'll show you how we accomplish getting them in one by one. Once all four panels were laid in the truck, obviously extended beyond the tailgate, I took a bungee cord and put it underneath all of them so the hooks were at the top. Then one at a time we had them, it took three guys to do this efficiently. There wasn't a tree at the lumber yard. We pulled them up one at a time. And then just held them in place with the bungee like this. We did that for all four and then once I had all four of them held in temporarily with that bungee, I took a strap and ran through it and tied it down to the truck. That allowed me to close the tailgate and drive home safely. These panels are 50 inches wide and 16 feet long. So four of them side by side is gonna be only a little longer than one whole panel laid out. I'm gonna use one of these panels 16 feet long and lay it on the ground and kind of figure out where I might want this trellis arbor. Basically, I'm just making sure that I have the walk space that I need all the way around it. When it's all constructed, where that cattle panel is actually laying is going to be the inside of the tunnel. Now, based on my experience in the garden, I know that if I bend this over and I make the base of it 48 to 50 inches wide, that's going to make a really nice arch for an arbor. Right now, I have this thing laid out where I want the inside of my tunnel. So I'm going to start spacing out my T-post. Again, based on my experience in the garden, I know that one T-post per side is plenty.
Now here's where our tunnel is going to be. I'm going to create the hoops over each of these sets of two. This would be a lot easier with two people. Much easier with two people. Now you can see the arch shape that I was going for. I do need to tie these panels to the fence post, but pretty much that is, that's it. That's the trellis. I'm sitting up here in the orchard after putting those panels up and looking at my mulch garden, sitting on the chicken tractor. Earlier today, I was out there at the, the beehives, did some inspections. I had no cameras with me because I was all by myself and I was running out of time. I just needed to go do it. This is one of those days when I'm um, dog tired, but it feels really good because I was able to do something on the farm, get some things accomplished. Not as much as I was hoping to get accomplished today, but still today was a pretty good day. Started out this morning, it's Saturday with my live stream. Thank you to everyone who joined me during the live stream this morning. It was a lot of fun. It was a really good 53 minutes. I felt like uh, the time just flew by. You guys were interacting, and it was just a lot of fun. So thank you for joining me there. And uh, soon, someday, you'll see this grape arbor not only finished, but planted with grapes. I got to do something to ensure that the horse is not getting in like that should have already been taken care of. But, you know... I didn't do it right, so I'm paying the consequences. So there's always work for another day. Thanks again for joining me here. I'll talk to you soon.